Good evening, Gamesville. I'm Kendra Newberry. And I'm Cliff Berman. We have a big breaking story going on right now. Big layoffs at Sony, fanboys are in a panic. Let's go to our correspondent Avery Gamer who is at the scene. It is complete pandemonium down here. I have with me Police Chief Jillian Valentine to give us the details on how all of this started. Thanks, Avery. It started when a gang of Xbox fanboys spray painted our IP PS4 on a local landmark. That's when the first shots were fired. What has been done to calm the situation? We cordoned off the area. The best thing to do is let the fanboys flame each other until they finally get bored and go back to playing their games. That was the plan, at least. What changed the situation? Sony announced the new PlayStation 4 Pro was designed to compete with the PC and not with Xbox. This prompted members of the local PC Master Race Chapter 486 to march in the streets with protest signs. The whole thing has turned into a tarball. When do you think the police will be able to get the situation under control? We are going to use Steam cards to lure the PC Master Race members out of the area then turn the hoses on the fanboys. Well, there you have it. The situation here has escalated but the police have a plan to cool it down. Back to you, Kendra. Thank you, Avery. Blah blah, blah blah, blah blah blah, blah blah, blah blah. Seems like it's blah, nothing blah, blah, blah. but bad news anymore blah, blah, these days. Blah, blah, blah. That's blah, true. Blah, 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 blah. The media blah, blah, just loves blah, blah, drama. Blah, blah, blah. What is your opinion blah, on this blah, whole thing with blah, Sony? Blah, blah, blah. This whole ordeal is an example of why I don't like corporations. In the gaming industry? No, in general. What's so bad about them, other than the big corporate game studios who are hurting the gaming industry with their practices? Good question. Let's go to the new Fortress of Reason and I'll explain. Okay. I don't like corporations because by their very nature they are anti-consumer and anti-democratic. Wait, aren't corporations in business to sell to consumers? That is how it is supposed to work, on paper. In practice, however, not so much. Can you explain in detail? This goes beyond the bad behavior of the big corporate game studios, while not all corporations are evil. Many do things that really make you wonder. One big gripe I have is with many abusing the DMCA to attack competitors, rather than let the consumers decide which is better. Big corporations claiming copyright to take down reviews critical of their products, which is what the DMCA was not intended to be used for. But isn't that more of law and copyright law? It is. But I'm not done yet. You have corrupt corporations using their vast wealth to bully small nations into accepting their products whether they want them or not. The worst example of this is Monsanto and their practice of strong-arming small nations into accepting their genetically modified seeds. There is more, but I could devote a whole episode to the crimes that corporation has committed against humanity. However, the biggest issue is that corporations are not answerable to their consumers, but to their shareholders. But, Professor, that is how a corporation works. That might be how it works, but it is a system that promotes corruption. In the name of profits, corporations are increasingly shipping jobs to other countries where labor is cheap. Look around, our current economy is a result of these practices. You are right, the economy is pretty bad. In the name of profits, 
the quality of many products has been dropping. Our stores are flooded with cheaply made goods, and free trade agreements make it cheap for corporations to ship these goods from overseas. Legal loopholes make it so many corporations haven't paid any income tax for several years. Oh, and don't get me started on how many buy-off politicians to get what they want. I could go on and on, Chloe, but the point is corporations are about for democracy. Or, to be more specific, capitalism as it is practiced now is bad for democracy. That kind of talk will start a lot of fights. Good. If it opens a few eyes it makes people see the truth, whether they accept it or not, is a good thing. There's a lot of people who won't want to accept that truth. You are right. There are people who are so accustomed to seeing the world one way that if you tear away the veil of lies and show them what is really around them, they can't handle it. They would rather continue living the lie than face the truth. Many will violently oppose the truth. So desperate would they be to cling to their comfort zone. And, the powers that be understand this and so they teach people not to believe certain things because they are. Conspiracy theories. But, aren't many of those bogus? Many of them are truer than you realize, much more than you probably want to accept. Again, as I said believing in some of them means leaving your comfort zone, and some people can't handle that. It all boils down the fear, and fear can make people do things that often aren't in their best interest. I think I understand now. Good. I am not saying all conspiracy theories are true. Some are downright bonkers. But, dismissing them at face value simply because they are called a conspiracy theory is dangerous. Because some aren't bogus, in fact some are frighteningly real and the more people who know about them the better. This world needs more people like Snowden, Bradley Manning, and Julian Assange. True heroes, who put their lives and freedom on the line, to expose the wrongs committed against us by those whom we believed were there to protect us. Anyway, I really got off topic there. I started talking corporations and then got into conspiracy theories and whistleblowers. I don't think you were off topic at all. You told me once that everything was connected, so... I can easily see how all these things would be connected. Huh, it seems I taught you well. Yes you did, Professor. What about aliens? What you think about them? Well, consider this, Chloe. There are 18 quintillion stars in no man's sky, and there are more than that many in our night sky. Are you going to tell me that out of all those astronomically huge number of stars, that just one, only one, has a planet with life. Yeah, it would be insane to believe that we are alone. The statistics alone make it impossible for us to be alone in the universe. But, why haven't we seen them yet? Well, Chloe, would you visit an insane asylum where all the inmates had guns? You've got a point. <laughs>